for more analysis on the week and the quarter and, quite frankly, the whole first half of the year, John Quelch, Dean of the University of Miami's Herbert School of Business. Good to see you again, sir. Um, let's talk psychology a little bit. It's been one of the worst two quarters we've had on the markets in a very, very long time. Um, investors are tired. We're tired of talking about it, We're tired of talking about recession. What's the psychology behind this in the next few weeks and months as we move forward? Well, as you said, uh, Philip, uh, the first half of this year uh, is the worst uh, first half uh, since 1970 for the S&P. Uh, so after a very strong uh, 2021 COVID recovery, uh, now uh, we're seeing many of those uh, stock market gains uh, given up in the face of the inflationary pressure, which uh, is all around us. Um, the, the key question is whether or not the Fed is going to be able to get inflation under control. And there is a little bit of evidence in terms of the uh, slight softening in the 30-year Treasury uh, rate uh, today and also the uh, mortgage interest rate, the 30-year mortgage interest rate has also uh, instead of advancing further, it's actually slipped back a little bit. And what this suggests is that uh, a significant portion of the market uh, believes that the Fed uh, may, in fact, be getting inflation under control. And while there can be and probably will be a technical recession, meaning two consecutive quarters with negative growth year on year, um, when the second quarter number is released, we expect it to be about 1% down, vis-a-vis 1.6% down for the first quarter. But we expect, uh, I think the, the, the majority of people expect this to be a very right. uh, quick and uh, modest technical recession uh, with perhaps some hope of a significant resurgence in the second part of the year. John, what does that do with for business leaders and CEOs and CFOs and experts that you talk to, how do you plan for the next two quarters on the backdrop of this? I don't know how else to put it, but sort of it's negative. Well, it's an uncertain environment. And uh, see an individual CEO, of course, ought to know how their company's uh, cash flow, revenues, and uh, margins are looking. Uh, many companies, Philip, have been able, during the inflation post-COVID, uh, they have been able to take price increases. So a key question over the next few months is going to be, will the earnings forecasts, the earnings guidance of major companies uh, hold up? If it does hold up, then I think uh, many people will say we, we can put the worst behind us. But if we see earnings falling short of guidance uh, for bellwether companies, um, that will mean that not enough uh, price uh, was taken uh, in the face of inflation and uh, margins are eroding. And uh, consequently, uh, there is uh, likely to be a further dip in the market if that's a pattern. John, I, I spent a fair amount of time uh, in different business schools, and I have a a bit of a soft spot, if you will. Um, and I know what students are thinking about. They're going to graduate. They spend all this time uh, with you, and they expect to make a million bucks when they come out of school. And when the economy isn't rocking and rolling, and when we're all talking about you know, the Grim Reaper coming into the economy, a, a fear sets in for students that, one, will they find the job they want, and will they make the money that they originally hoped for? What are you telling? your students? Uh, what we're finding, Philip, is first of all that uh, uh, graduate students from business schools who have strong uh, technical skills uh, as well as a good man general management education, uh, those are the students who are getting uh, especially valued in the marketplace. Um, we're seeing very strong demand for our MS program in business analytics, for example. Um, I think what we're also likely to see is when the economy uh, turns down, uh, there is a tendency for students to 
uh, perhaps favor slightly more reliable uh, professions, for example, accountancy, uh, as opposed to uh, rolling the dice and going after uh, entrepreneurial uh, startups. Uh, and as a matter of fact, when there is a recession, when there is a downturn, uh, the former jobs tend to be consistently available, whereas uh, the latter type of job, the entrepreneurial startup job, doesn't really exist uh, to the same degree that it does when times are good. So the market actually tells the students uh, pretty clearly uh, what opportunities are available, and students uh, will pivot uh, their expectations and their ambitions accordingly. Right. Um, but uh, I think that's uh, important. That's a market dynamic we see all the time in, uh, in our business schools. Yeah.